the biblical theologian that I have chosen to uh, write about and talk about is Phyllis Tribble. Phyllis Tribble uh, was one of the was the only female on the list, so I decided to choose her. I believe that theological diversity, especially when we can find diversity even amongst gender, uh, men and women, that is really important and really key and helps us do biblical theology well because it informs our hermeneutic from a viewpoint that we may not have and that others bring to the table. So I chose Phyllis Tribble because I want to be better versed in people that I have not read a lot of or they come from a very different perspective than I do. I would never, I probably wouldn't have come up to feminist, the, uh, feminist theology on my own. So it's great for me to read about somebody who has come up with it um, because of their experiences and their life. So Phyllis Tribble was originally from um, Virginia. She went to Meredith College for her undergrad and did her PhD work at Union Seminary, and she was an OT emphasis scholar. The uh, At the time, there was not a lot of women visible in the faculty, and uh, she went on to teach after that at Wake Forest and Andover Newton Theological School uh, until going back to Union Theological Seminary, in which uh, she was able to land a position that no woman had ever held before, which was the Baldwin Professor of Sacred Literature. Her theological work was based on biblical theology, um, rhetoric, and uh, her feminist interpretation of scripture. Uh, she was very well versed in the rhetorical methods of biblical criticism, and that became what was a bit of an anchor for her in her methodology. It was with that rhetorical criticism, rhetorical method of biblical criticism that she was able to do her feminist theology out of. So uh, some of the different books that she wrote, she wrote God and the Rhetoric of Sexuality, um, a book called Texts of Terror, uh, and then another book called Rhetorical Criticism, Context, Method, and the Book of Jonah, each of which has their own flavor and it brings about um, different aspects of what she believed. Her texts of terror discuss a lot of the different passages in the scripture that as women, when the passage is taken misogynistically and out of, and she believes incorrectly, they can be passages of terror for women because the message that it's preaching in those can be terrifying because of the poor exegesis of them. Uh, God and the rhetoric of sexuality discusses a lot of her, a lot of her understanding that <clears throat> to make sexuality uh, and to make the separation of gender unequal is to be in sin and to be wrong because of the imago dei that um, is present in each of us. So to deny somebody equality for their, because of the I guess, type of human that they would be, she would see it as greatly sinful. And then lastly, the rhetorical criticism. Um, this is a biblical theology book that she wrote kind of outlining how she does rhetorical criticism and what rhetorical criticism is, all within the context of Jonah. Uh, I believe it was actually her uh, dissertation that was adapted then into a book. She was uh, heavily influenced by a man named James Muhlenberg. James Muhlenberg was uh, a rhetorical critic, critic of the scriptures as well. Um, his biggest thing was Form Criticism and Beyond. And that was a, a title to a talk that he had given. So Form Criticism and Beyond is highly influential on, um, on Tribble's work. Uh, to that, about him, um, Tribble said herself that she has uh, gleaned greatly from him and she was very impressed by who he was and um, what type of biblical theology was doing. To that, she said while she was at Union, she fell under the spell of James Muhlenberg, whose sensitivities to the literary and theological dimensions of scripture changed her life. So while she was at Union, she encountered the literary and theological dimensions that James Muhlenberg was focusing on. Um, at the time, the biblical theology movement was small, but he was looking um, literarily and at that rhetorical criticism, and that was, as she said, changing of her life. There were other um, people who have given uh, 
her praise for what she's done in one of her books, uh, Texts of Terror, Walter Brueggemann wrote a very powerful um, intro into which she says that Tribble proposes to get the interpreter expositor out of the way so that the unhindered text and the listening community community can directly face each other. Now that's a pretty bold statement because to say that a um, biblical critic is able to get away those preconceived notions and proposes the interpreter expositor to get out of the way uh, is to take off a lot of the shackles and take off a lot of um, what has been presupposed onto the text and what a lot of us do when we look at a passage and we know what it's about already, that we can come to it and say, okay, let me read, let me just reaffirm what I already know. But with Tribble's methodology, and as clearly stated by Brueggemann, like an impressive ideology and um, way to do it, she is getting the uh, preconceived notions out of the way, the pre-understandings, for the sake of being true biblical theologian to hear the text as it speaks. Um, her feminist theology, often we hear feminism and evangelicalism does not uh, appreciate feminism or think that it's something that is useful. However, her feminism is extremely useful and extremely beneficial for the church and her uh, feminism as well brings to light a lot of the issues. Often when people are hesitant to feminism or to many chains like that, often it's because they are part of the issue. However, Tribble brings in um, a feminism that is faithful to scripture. She says of that feminism, feminism is a perspective that helps to challenge the paradigms of domination, not only within the paradigm of male over female, while that is the most common, but as well as master over slave and humankind over earth. Feminism is the justice and equality, especially pertaining to the equality within gender and not constrained to it. So she sees feminism not only as women who have suffered now need to be made equal, she sees feminism as the fight for justice and inequality in all things, male and female, uh, slave and master, humankind over earth. She sees feminism as something helpful and beneficial to us because it fights for equality and it fights against oppression. She sees the sin of gender inequality as something that has been rampant, uh, rampant and uh, sees that it undermines the integrity of creation. Like I said before, it undermines the Imago Dei, um, but that she really harps in on that, on her book, that uh, there is huge, huge sin done because they are people who are uh, misogynistic in their ways, have stifled women, and have put them down and have um, not recognized the image of God in them. Um, so her feminist theology is actually how is probably a good thing to recognize that that's her lens uh, and the framework that Tribble uses um, as she reads through the whole, or as she moves into the Old Testament and New Testament, uh, is that the writing of injustice for all and that um, equality for all. So the way that she goes about her um, different exeg her hermeneutics and her exegesis uh, are that she talks about in one example would be in her book, The Text of Terror. She looks at Hagar and the injustice done to Hagar. Um, and she interacts with that, and her goal in this is to articulate the faith of the scriptures. Um, another example would be in Hosea 11, 3 through 4. She describes it as like the flowering uh, of the Old Testament theology that um, so many people have said that uh, in that in that. Um, passage of the picking up of the child, that that would be something that the woman would be doing, but we've read it into it that that's the man and that there's a uh, masculine identity in that. Um, but this phenomena of gender, she attacks and goes about trying to unend a whole lot of what people have done to uh, stifle women and read women as lesser into the passages. When it comes to sexuality, um, she speaks of the moral community of females and males, both created in the image of God and uh, uses the phrase languages of Zion, um, which is the Old Testament languages, and to use the language language of Zion to abuse anyone in humanity is, is to do that falsely. Um, and lastly, her rhetorical criticism, something that was incredibly important. She understands uh, that prior interpretations can be wrong, is allow, allowing things to poke holes in pre-understandings 
uh, and her literary methods involve the role of metaphor, r rhetoric, uh, new criticisms, and narratology, um, or sorry, narrating. Um, and the literary approaches uh, that she discovers with this is that the role of women in the Bible and non-canonical literature uh, can be overlooked and really misconstrued. Um, so the male interpreter going about this that is uh, fault, that is uh, ignorant in his framework reads women out of this, reads their value out of it, but she instead is instilling back the value of women into it and um, bringing that from the text and, instead of superimposing it. As well, her social historical approach um, describes the roles of women and functions of women within the context of this larger social world um, reconstructed by uh, historical data, cultural data, and these different things. So rebuilding uh, that which is there because of so much has been taken down. So those are a couple of different things that she walks through and how she uses that. I would say that her ability to do these things and her ability to be um, her ability to be in conversation with these things and not uh, be so reactionist, but instead find these things sourced in scripture, gives her a big seat at the table and allows her to have a voice. Um, and uh, just to kind of just to kind of wrap up in her uh, one example is uh, Tribble reminds us in uh, in the book of Ruth. She writes a, a commentary about Ruth about how um, foreign woman who has the has in the story a foreign woman, somebody who would not have um, power or say so, a Moabite, invokes and secures the promise of Hesed love, um, thus kind of showing us and making the point that it is not only Boaz, the strong man, um, but also God in a more excellent way to be able to, uh, sorry, I kind of tripped over my words there, that uh, this kind of Ruth is able to receive the promise of Hesed love, uh, and it, therefore we show the value. Um, and not only does uh, God create humans, uh, he stewards and sustains them and is very good, and God uh, does that for both male and female. And every um, time then they were taking away from that, uh, every human who denies women that or refuses to... Um, give up their what they've been given in misogyny of power um, is lacking uh, or is making it uh, how do I say that is stripping from people the image of God because they don't want to let go of their control um, so that is Phyllis Tribble brilliant really 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 good biblical theologian I appreciated her work a lot uh, and I am really excited to dig into more of what uh, she has to say in these books, um, especially texts of terror. These, we have these problem texts so often that we need to get right because they can be really hurtful and really stifling to a lot of people. So thanks so much.